everyone, and welcome back as always. Mm-hmm. We're Hi. back again. We're going to be watching more Vikings. Vikings. We love Vikings. We are on season five, oh, episode nice. four. So we're on 504. Wow. This episode is called The Plan. Oh, boy. Okay. Vikings is always very intense. <laughs> always very intense. <laughs> and it was so violent last episode. Holy crap. And Ivar, how everything was planned out was just so... He really Violent. is excellent with yeah. that, though. Yeah, he is. The spikes, like oh, yeah. yeah, no, he is excellent with that. And he <laughs> says, the gods are with me, that you can't hurt me, you know? And he was all That's crazy, right. remember that, with a shaky camera? Yes. He had blood all over his face, and he's just, like, sitting there, and oh, all the other Vikings right. went around, right. and yeah. it was a crazy battle. And they really listened to him. I mean, the yeah, opposition yeah. really... Yeah, and the Saxons were very scared, like, they yeah. wouldn't charge, mm-hmm. so... Yeah. Very intense. Ube and his brother tried to make peace after all that mm-hmm. and that was against what Ivar wanted to do but that actually was in Ivar's favor because now he gets to lead the Vikings because they yeah have thanks more to the bishop for switching it up oh, yes, yeah right. we were saying right before we started recording that we're not quite sure how we feel about the bishop he is very passionate and Kim was saying that he reminds her of Floki a lot because he is so religious that's right mm-hmm. And he really. loves and, and respects his people, but he will do what he needs to do in the eyes of his God. But he undermined, you know, Alfred. Yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah, yeah. that's not good. Floki actually did that with Ragnar as well, mm-hmm. remember, like, when he killed that's Athelstan. Right. So it is true, yeah. like, they do seem kind of similar in that way. So I think we should get into it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we and we apologize for mispronouncing names because I know we hear them a lot, but certain characters actually do say them slightly differently. And I don't want to look up anything just because I'm like, they're going to say who died or how they died, that's and I don't right. like spoilers. So yeah, we try so to we'll always just go say it differently too. Yeah, right. yeah, so because yeah. sometimes we'll like make the, I don't know, she goes Ube, Ube, and but all Ube the do. brothers, I really do like them. But Bjorn favorite. is definitely my favorite brother out of all of them. <laughs> Bjorn, my, my favorite. Yeah, he's fun. No. All right, so okay, nice the plan. Point. Also, Dad again is doing amazing. I can't believe it's been what almost seven months-ish mm-hmm. since his stroke see, yeah. and and he's doing really good he you know he's hanging out right now in the kitchen right next door so if you hear scuffing and stuff it's just him walking around and doing stuff out there he's hanging out he doesn't he's want to be on camera it's chilly out so he <laughs> has his while, little slippers he'll on sneak. he'll photobomb us in the back yeah that's cute <laughs> and sometimes like i can <laughs> hear him coming but other times like he's so sneaky yeah <laughs> I was gonna say, is this pure? Wow. Hey, finally. They mark the entrance to the Mediterranean Sea. <sighs> How fortunate I was to run into you, Cinder. They will not know who you are. And you, in turn, don't know how strong anyone is in this new world. Whoa. Wow. You cannot trust them. They are heathens. Well, then, we must retreat. Return to Wessex. I had a vision. I saw the two witnesses who are the prophets standing before the God of the Earth. I saw all the dead bodies of the wicked lying in the street of the great city, for there was no one left to bury them. Close all roads to York. Blockade all rivers. Prevent the Northmen from coming and going. You go and order our commanders to close the roads, the rivers, passageways that lead to York. He's doing what he's saying. We will starve them out. With God's help. Oh, he will help us. This is going to be interesting. Mm. With Lagatha, you know? Mm. I was hoping Bjorn would be there. You're more than ever welcome back to a hearth, Ube. Then you must have heard of Sigurd's death at the hands of Ivar. And his challenge to Bjorn that he was the leader of the great army. As far as I am concerned, I am now at war with Ivar. My brother Vitzer. He has decided to die for. So he's not my enemy. Uh, you see, that would make me an ally of my mother's killer. Mm, I know. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. You understand I won't be sharing you with Vitzer anymore. I'm glad. You're the man I married. I think Lagatha is losing her power. I think the gods have deserted her. I've seen it. One man who can replace Ragnar as the ruler of Kattegat. And that man is not Bjorn. Since Bjorn clearly has no interest in Kattegat. 
This world is impermanent and deceiving. Many things are not what they seem. <gasps> Holy oh shit! Holy crap! Yeah. Holy crap! Good. good too. Is that a crossbow? Oh my god! Oh, what the heck? Oh my god! Looks like they will go hungry again. Oh! <sighs> I said the hunting party. I heard party. what you said. <sighs> we have to do something. Okay. The Saxons are in their own country. They can be reinforced and grow stronger. Who treated me like his little faithful dog? I am no one's dog, Ivor. Oof, oof. That's mean. That's mean. Oh, that so mean. We are equal to Lagatha Torvi, you and me. We are all equal. You're right, my girl. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. We are all oh, equal. I didn't know you were listening. Apparently <laughs> not. not. My grad. Conspire against me if you want to. But if you can find the courage to be loyal, then I will respect you like no other. The Bible also tells us to show no mercy to unbelievers. Against these devils and pagans, we are the wrath of God. Feels <laughs> like, uh... Varengu! Vikings. Hey, for you, let's have been studying. <gasps> what oh that? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh. Good oh. Bjorn. I wanted to see if he was a fighter. <laughs> oh, jeez. Herede. Commander Euphemius wants you to be his bodyguards. He will pay you and your men very well. It would be better if you agreed. <laughs> No, 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 no. He's not gonna kiss me, is he? Beautiful voice. Mm. The commander says that he stole her from the holy city of Byzantium, and that she is so famous, the emperor sentenced him to death for abducting her. Mm. Will I ever see my son again? Yes, you will see him again. But in terrible circumstances. Prepare yourself. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah. What is my fate? <gasps> Holy oh, crap! crap out of me. Give me a sign. Ooh. That's your sign, baby. Oh boy. It's Cindy. We saw you. What was all that about, my friend? I told you. Nothing is as it seems. Where's Kyra? In Africa. Hmm? Have you met him? No. That was Garcia. Yes. You wouldn't happen to be conspiring against us now, would you, Cindric? I was mm. only trying to find out what was going on mm. here. <laughs> I want to meet the Zia Datala. In my vision, I saw the bodies of the pagans heaped in the streets. Dead of disease and starvation. Let us fall upon them now. Mm. No. If you take my advice, let their condition worsen further still. How you put yourself forward above me to take command, even though I am your king! I'm not God! Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't trust him. Do with me him. as you will. Oh, yeah. He knows he needs him. I really like Ava Wolf though, because he really does see mm -hmm, past that I stuff. So. What is it that you do not understand, Yitzhak? I don't understand why you pretend to burn the bodies of our dead. It's part of my plan. I found something out. It's Eric. The Romans were very clever. Gorgeous. Yeah, oh my, my god. god. 
Asgard. Aw, uh, he found this new land. I hope he's successful. He's listening. I do love his giggles. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Hi, honey. Astrid, what is your decision? I agree to marry you. That was quick. Yeah. I trust nothing. You never can tell. <laughs> For although the fetters of marriage will be invisible, like the cords that bind Fenrir, they will still bind you. Perhaps my luck has finally changed. I love Loki. Right now it's like peaceful, so it's like, alright. Yeah. <laughs> Volcano erupting? Is that a sign? Yeah, God's angry, you're leaving? Yeah. Galos. Hmm. It's interesting. That was something she said. Yes. It was something she said. Perhaps she is the old woman. Or perhaps just a pain in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> He's obsessed with her. Yeah, interested. They are gone. The Northmen, the ships, they are all gone. Oh god, they just go in casually. They just totally oh, believe oh, that. Oh, yeah. It's Ivar's plan. Oh, it's bad. Did you learn last time? It's like you go in farther and farther, you get trapped in. I don't like it. You better be on guard. Holy crap! Yeah. Oh, nothing. Oh, uh, oh. This is weird. That's not cool. Oh god, only a guard down. I don't like it. That's not what he envisioned. I hate close ups. Sorry, I guess I'm scared. Why are the rats above? Is that it? Da, da. Oh, oh my god, that episode why? flew by. God. I was so oh, afraid an arrow was gonna go right to their heads or something. I was like, why did someone else open those doors? I know. <laughs> Again, we have earbuds in, so oh, we have we can hear each other just fine, but we don't miss anything from the show. Yeah. So every time we hear like a little change in something, especially when there's suspense and the the rats chirping or you oh, know, god, making the cheapy noises. <laughs> oh my god, like yeah, I jumped with you, I think. Because it just was high pitched and jeez. Where did they go? You know Where they're there. Mm -hmm. They totally didn't leave because as we know, yeah. Ivar had a plan that's and right. he's gonna ambush all he of them. He didn't even that's let right. his brother know it. No. Yeah. He's sure. gonna like well, he burn them all in there. Oh yeah, Ivar. Well, that was him. So the bishop was questioning why the rats are above. I know, what's yeah. that mean? They're eating flesh or something. I mean, I don't know what they survive on. Garbage. Um, Maybe it's just food. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't have much. Maybe that was like a symbol that they were trying to mock well. them. Yeah. Somehow, I don't All know. The animals are in there. Well, the cat, the horses are in there. I don't know. I know. I know. I'm just fearful because now I'm like, okay, something's really bad's gonna happen to them because you know it's all part of Ivar's plan. <sighs> yeah, but the bishops there, Alfred. Athelwolf. I mean, they're all the, the main players are right, right there. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully, I have a feeling Alfred's yeah. going to be fine. I'm worried mm -hmm. about the other son, and I'm worried about Athelwolf. I'm always worried about so the other son. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. The, the other son. Always like, yeah, and yeah, Athelwolf, I really do like him so much, yeah, and I think and he I have a really feeling that king. the bishop's going to survive. He seems like a survivor. I do like his character too, and I and I do see him surviving. What's interesting about the show is that you never really know who's going to survive, who doesn't. And certain things are really predictable in certain shows, I guess. But And sometimes we can kind of guess who's going to mm -hmm. die. But I don't know. Like, this you know, like Harold. Just I, I always knows. feel for Harold, and I don't. And I do that. So I yeah, know, we thought he was going to die before when he's like, strike with Lagertha, and yeah. then didn't, and he escaped. 
But the bishop, I think he's going to be around a little bit just because just because he's, he's not like really a, a good guy, yeah, but yeah. he he's good in his own way yeah, or his yeah. own yeah. beliefs. But um, no, I think he's going to survive this particular. I think so too, and I'm so fearful for Aether Wolf because I just felt so many times he was already going to die. Oh yeah, yeah. well you know yeah. what? I really like him. He wanted to go against the bishop mm-hmm. about That's right. keeping the pagans in York. Yeah. Yeah, and then when you know when the bishop said, "I'm going to close out," you know, you should close all the roads, close, close all the waterways, yep. mm-hmm. and then Aethel was like, you know, no. And then he turns to his son and funny. says, that "We're going to re- do all, <laughs> exactly what he just said." That's right. That was really funny. I did like that part yeah. too. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> so he was probably just mocking him there, just to make him feel like yeah. you know, like don't give me orders. Yeah, That's I'm what I say. I'm in charge. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So their whole like dynamic is different mm-hmm. and I'm curious well the bishop oh, is a wow. true fighter I mean he truly knows mm-hmm. you know I think he yeah. does have good intentions but he is he wants to have control of the whole situation because he wants mm-hmm. things to mm-hmm. go his way okay. because he believes God is guiding him and he thinks he's doing everything right like Floki with the gods like he That's thinks right, he's yeah. doing everything right, right. he has his visions and right yeah mm-hmm. I really like how Floki is in Asgard right now. Like it, it's a beautiful area, and it's really relaxing so right he now. So they found this land, yeah. And that's now beautiful. he's asking the gods to go back and bring some of his people here. Yeah, yeah that, that's right. I'm got, hoping he'll be it. successful with that too. I love again how they have that mix where they have different yeah. religions yeah. that when you have strong beliefs, like things happen. Like you have mm-hmm. signs, and you go by those signs. Right. And again, keeping it light. <laughs> Yeah. But I really love seeing both sides. Like, you, you have the Christians, and you have the bishop we're following who sees these signs. And then we have Floki who sees, you know, his gods. In, in and even yeah, his yeah. Bishop, or whatever his name is. Who, Show me a sign, and then the arrow comes right out of him. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. oh yeah, the brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I said the brother, yeah. His sign. That's a sign. Yeah, I'm, I'm just here. a sign. Anytime it gets quiet and they have a close up now with someone, I'm like, he's gonna get shot in the head. I always yeah. But that was a sign. Yeah, that was definitely a sign. Astrid is married to. Yeah, I thought, I was like, well, maybe she, maybe Astrid's gonna kill Harold during the wedding, but I'm like, I don't think she'll just do it like that. But when she was having those flashbacks of Lagertha, I'm like, you can tell she still cares for she Lagertha. She and she's totally sure. going to get Harold, oh, I think, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah. Not knowing anything, so we're blind now, to this, yeah. but. Right? Oh, I yeah, she I has total so. loyalty to Lagertha. But like now I feel bad for Harold because I, I, I do. Kind of when it comes to jealous. love, I do. Yes, because when it comes really to love, Bobby's going to get his love. You now, can see yeah. him like twitch when he. What is your answer? He's so on the surface. <laughs> I know. Like, please tell me. <sighs> I know. He, he's very vulnerable in certain oh, ways. He is nice. in that way. Yes, in that respect. Yeah. Yes, he is. Almost like a child, you know. And then his brother. I don't know about his brother. His I mean, I know he's uh, following yeah. Bjorn, yeah. but I, I don't trust I think his brother fully. Out of the two of them, I don't trust mm-hmm. him. I yeah. trust him less. Yeah, I, I kind of both brothers. I'm really iffy about, anyways. But I think Harold is actually so. more vulnerable yeah. without his brother because I think I think his brother was more of the realistic person and more of a survivalist, like An aggressor. Yeah, and the yeah, aggressor. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, Harold, he's he pretty is. much the aggressor. Yeah, he is with true, the but I think his brother is more. The... I think he goes around the back, yeah. almost like a Rolo did with, okay, yeah. you know. We haven't seen Rolo like... in forever now, so it's yeah. like, is that it now? Yeah. What's up with him? He just he went just... on his own way, and that's it. And I'm surprised yeah. he went back to his kingdom and he was accepted. So, yeah. I was like, all right. After he got his slap. Going with the Vikings yeah, for a right? bit. That boy. Yeah. He went out with the boys. Yeah. Left his kids for a while. That's why it was crazy. Yeah. So I'm hoping Floki will meet up with Bjorn and people like I really I like Floki so. and Bjorn together and I'm curious if Floki's going to be with Ivar I don't know like everyone's kind of yeah. going their own way now that I'm just interested to see I'm interested about Bjorn together. about his story yeah, now me so too cool, yeah. I love this new place that they're in in, in mm-hmm. Sicily like Sicily, yeah. it's, it's kind of scary of course everything's so different culture's different and I love how they reacted with like the kiss of the cheek and stuff and yeah, he's well, like what's this what's gonna go on next yeah Harold's yeah. brother's yeah. like oh are you gonna kiss me next yeah, and right did. when they went in there, and he's like, "Oh, you're just traitors," and then he pulled a weapon on him, and Bjorn mm-hmm. defended That's himself, and he was just so like, "What the freak is going with on?" His own, with his own, with the guy's sword. Yeah, That's yeah, why. that was yeah. a cool move. <laughs> but you know, you really have favorite. to put a lot of trust, like Rolo did with the interpreter. 
yeah. going into France. Yeah. yeah, you really have to put a lot of trust in him Faith because in you have to make sh- you don't know he's saying we what you're saying. Things. Exactly, you, you have to really put a lot of trust in that person. I was thinking that's the same right, thing, yeah. and, and that's so why you're pulling a knife under his neck every saying. once in a while is a good thing yeah. to yeah. You just make sure he stays yeah. in line and Bjorn's watching everything that he does. So that's oh, really yeah. good. So he's letting him know. But yeah, like he is your lifeline pretty much, like because right. he knows all the languages to communicate, and if you can't communicate. You're in a world you don't even know, and they're very skilled with their own weapons. So the nun, too, she was very interesting as well, because yeah. I guess she was captured or taken from... He took her. Right? That's right. right. So she's and a prisoner right now, and there's something weird going on with her, yeah, where she yeah. was like, she kind of convinced... Right, she says, I'm going. Yeah, to go. And you're going to have to take me. And he and he totally changed his mind and said, oh yeah, we'll go. So I'm curious what's going so on there. So she has something over yeah, him. Yeah, not as it seems, that's a- yeah, like yeah. you're saying, you don't know really who's in power. That's, that's the gonna, theme on that one. Mm, nice and again, story. I really do love Bjorn, and I really do that's like right. his story in this one. I love how he is more like Ragnar in this. He sure is. Mm-hmm. And how he just has the so, mannerisms yeah. and the expressions like... Whoa. And he brings back, you know, he brings back his father, too, that's you know. Right. He's like, you know... Yeah, like bring back memories. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, I agree. So I really do like Bjorn a lot, but... Woo, so can't wait to watch more Vikings. Always yeah. very crazy. And one last thing, too. I should be nice to his brother, though. Yeah, yeah. no, I know, because he goes back he really and forth should. where he's all, he like... Te- like tease him in front of the oh, other world. Yeah, yeah, he so gets very spiteful and very... That's how he is. Just arrogant. And then you, then you have this vulnerable side of him where he's very, like, you know, like, oh, God, you know, don't make fun of me because I'm a cripple. And you can see that he's emotionally messed up there. But then he... Just attacks his. Br- I don't know. He attacked him, and then he drank his his wine or whatever he's drinking, and he's almost like wishing he didn't do it. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah, because I sometimes I go know. back and forth where he feels regretful, and then he's not. And uh, so I don't like where Ivar is going, but I think he does have a good plan. He does have good fighting strategies. Yes, and, good good tactics. Yeah. yeah. So good tactics and yeah, so crazy. But it's interesting also with Lagertha and Ube and, and yeah. how they have an alliance yeah. forming now. And it was kind of weird, but you just don't know what's going on yeah. anymore. Yeah. Really, like, Ube saying, "Hey, oh, I, I, you want me to form an alliance with the murder of my mother?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I do so like Lagertha. A lot of the choices she's been gives doing it right lately, I'm kind of like, yeah, but she gives it, he gives it right back to yeah. her, which is nice. But I'm, I really just feel like Uwe's going to take it out on Lagertha. But who knows? Because now he's so hateful against Ivar that maybe yeah. he will actually have a true alliance and kind of forgive her in his own way. Mm-hmm. I don't know. And Margaret, she better just shut her mouth. <laughs> That's right. Margaret. She was terrified. Yeah, yeah Lagertha mm-hmm. handled that very well, too. You know, yeah. she just spoke honestly and was actually very cordial about it, I, mm-hmm. I think. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, but I think we'll end it there. But I can't wait to watch more Vikings. I can't believe we're on the last season, but there's still quite a few episodes, I believe. And I think there's another season after this that they signed on for. Oh, yeah. Something. I think so, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think this is the last season. So, loving Vikings. I really want to see more with Floki. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that he's in a peaceful place and he's very happy. Yes. And yes, I want him yes, to join yes. back with, I really want him to go with Bjorn, but I know, like, he has a special bond with Ivar, Ivar so I'm really yeah. curious what would happen if they got back together. So thank mm. you so much for watching. Yep, so many and we'll, I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and we'll see you very soon, as always. Bye. Bye. Bye.